What is going on YouTube? Modsville USA back from the dead again. And check this out. You might be thinking, oh yeah, Modsville got himself a PS TV for Vita tutorials and so forth. Nope, not at all the case. This is my actual factual PS Vita on 365 Enzo and there is a new development essentially turning your Vita into a capture card via USB and I'm gonna be showing you how to do that it's super simple so check it out alright so here on reddit user exerpi x e r p i he has been developing this plugin for the PS Vita that allows you to capture footage of your Vita in OBS just via one simple plugin. So you're gonna wanna I'm gonna link this down in the description. Click it and download this. So if there's a newer version, when you come here, this will be X'd out and then just click the newer link and get the latest version. He's been updating it quite a bit, so there's a good chance that there will be a newer version. Just click it, download. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, and now let's go back onto our Vita. Here it is. So once you got the file, you're gonna want to go into Vita Shell. And in Vita Shell, let's go back to the root. Just make up your mind how you want to transfer this over via USB, FTP, etc. I am using SD to Vita, so I'm just going to go ahead and FTP it over. You go UR0, go down to tie. transfer it since I'm using FTP I will do it like this open up FileZilla the fuck whatever should be fine punch in punch in your IP address 168.1.114 Nothing for username, password. 1337 on the port. Hit enter. So UR0. Scrolling down to tie. And we are going to transfer this file to here. Now, what I like to do is copy config text just somewhere onto my PC. open it up and I will link this in the description I'll, I'll just have a RAR file zip file whatever um, that includes my config text along with all the plugins I would highly recommend still clicking the link and checking to see if there's a newer version of this available as there probably will be but this I'll include everything but the games game SD if you do not have um, an SD to Vita set up you're gonna wanna get rid of this so if you do not have an SD to Vita back that up hit save and then once you saved it I'm not actually gonna save it once you save it just transfer everything here to the UR tie. The default version of config text is set up significantly like different like in just like one horizontal string so this one's much easier to deal with and adding stuff on the PS Vita itself is more of a pain than it is worth it when you can just use your PC so I would highly recommend editing it on your computer but once you got everything transferred set up then you're good to just turn off your PS Vita, turn it back on. 
and once you do that pop up your OBS it's gonna be a little uh, you know we're going into the void here the infinite void of OBS but just open it up and you'll just click the little plus here or wait click the little plus down at the bottom go to video capture device I'll just make a new one now so you can see what's up and for the device choose PS Vita once you do that it'll show up something like this just stretch it out And there you go, capturing your Vita footage. So here I am, back on my Vita. It's very seamless. I don't know the FPS on this. I don't have a counter, but it seems perfect thus far. And I believe there's some compatibility issues with various games, but I don't believe it's very much at this point. Dude seems to be fixing it very on top. Very on top of that. So let's boot up Minecraft for a second. And see how that works. Minecraft's giving me a black screen. <laughs> Didn't work out. Let's try Don't Starve. And here we go. Playing Don't Starve. Capturing it on my computer one to one not losing any frames it's not like 3DS where the capture software the homebrew capture software is over Wi-Fi and very spotty this is pretty much perfect as far as I can tell let's get in game I don't remember where exactly I was in this game. Hey, that looks pretty good. Oh, I got Chester, dude. He's getting fucked up by that beefalo. So the only issue. I've noticed is I don't believe there's a way to capture audio like this but a simple workaround would be to hook up a 3.5 millimeter jack to your headphones one that's dual sided and the other end hook that up into your microphone uh, input on your PC or whatever if you've got an audio card like a focus right or a mixer or whatever you can use one of those but everybody's got a mic input on their PC so you just hook it up to that then go into OBS edit or no file settings audio and then add an extra mic for whatever uh, input you plugged it into either mic or line in whichever one works better for you well, that's pretty much it, and uh, and yeah, I just want to thank you guys who've been supporting the channel. I've been uh, moving. I was in the middle of a move, so I haven't done a video in about a month. Um, but yeah, a whole lot of craziness finally settled down. I want to get back back to the grind, do videos whenever it's worth doing, and I've got the time to do it. And we hit 2K subs, dude. That's bananas. Um, yeah, we were at like 1,500 like a month ago. Uh, yeah, it's pretty badass, dude. I've been doing this since like 2015. Just kind of derping around. And I don't know. I appreciate you guys for subbing, supporting the channel. Um, it means a lot to me. Just want to say thanks. You know, I don't want to get get too sappy 
in the scheme of things, I know it's not, you know, I'm not, not at 100K or whatever, but 2K is more than I ever thought I'd get, and I appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, if you're new here, consider subscribing if you want. If you found this video helpful, li leave it a like. And uh, if you hated this video, just dislike the hell out of it. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one.